right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Oh, yes, we do. Good evening, everyone, and welcome inside the Fan Cave. This is the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, where you can call the Bordis and Bordis hotline. It's 412-575-2600. Get on the line. We'd love to get to you as we move along here. Our show is on Pittsburgh CW. It's also simulcast on 93.7 The Fan, which is where we find PM team host, it is Andrew Filipponi, who joins me up there. Well, and it's not on there yet, Bob, because not? there's still a fairly Dickinson pit game that's coming down. Oh, okay. Uh, to pit the was end winning there. pretty handily, late, though. They were, although out in Vegas it was 14 and a half. <laughs> so there were some people that were still a little anxious, anxious late. Bob, I actually went over there tonight and watched some of the game. It was the first time I had been to the Pete in probably more than a year. And I got to say, I'm blown away by the structural upgrades and the renovations they've made to that arena. It looks like a totally different place than even two or three years ago. It's really back to state of the art, and it bums me out that they're so bad because that would be a great place. It's even, it's even better than it was. I mean, it was cool when it first came in and replaced Fitzgerald Fieldhouse, but they have poured millions of dollars into that facility and it's just a shame that the team uh can't give people a better reason to go out there and watch them play bob yeah they need to well tonight they took care of business fairly dickinson whatever john hughley <laughs> was uh, very good inside they got to feed him they got a good performance from cummings and i really like that six foot eleven guy um garce uh diaz uh, what's his last name jorge diaz Graham diaz uh yeah graham and He's unbelievably good for a, for a 6'11 guy with an outside touch. And, you know, uh, I agree with you. I, I've been there since they made those changes, and it's a great place. you got to fill the seats, however, and it was very empty again tonight. It looked like you were there, and I'm sure yep. it wasn't. Uh, but, you know, the only way you do that is you keep winning. you got to win in the conference, and that's still going to be hard. I do think Pitt will be better than what the 14th, uh, you know, pick was in the coaches' poll. I think they'll be better than that. As long as they stay healthy with this group, I think they can be okay. That's not saying a lot, but it's better than what it's been. Yeah, well, the league's not any good. I mean, the ACC thought it was going to be the premier league in, in college basketball, and they had a rocky regular season last year and made up for it with two teams going to the Final Four with North Carolina and Duke playing each other. But, man, early returns on that league are NG is in not good. <laughs> Louisville's 0-5. Uh, Florida State is losing these buy games where they pay teams to come play them. You know, Pitt's already got the three losses, West Virginia and then the New York trip. They came away from empty-handed. Uh, it's just not as good. You know, you still have some of these top teams like Duke and North Carolina, Bob, but the depth of the league is just not there right. again for another season for the ACC. Yeah, it's very top-heavy, of course, North Carolina, Duke, those teams – be interesting to see the ACC Big Ten Challenge whenever those matchups occur. I want to also talk to you about something we don't get into too often. That would be the NHL at large because the New Jersey Devils are doing something that um, I think is eye-opening, really. The Penguins have the longest win streak. Uh, if you go back to that 92-93 campaign, I believe it was 17 or 18. I can't remember which. Uh, they had a 15-gamer later. But this New Jersey team, for as young as they are, and this is the value of drafting properly, They've had some number one overall picks, and they've cashed in on guys like Nico Heashier, on guys like Jack Hughes. they got a bunch of young talent all over. They had John Marino. He looks like he's playing just as he did when he was acquired by the Penguins. It's a good story to tell, uh, Andrew, because it's not your typical New Jersey Devil style of play. they got speed, they got youth, and they're using yep. both to their advantage. 